YouTubers and thanks for joining me back here at Lily's Hair Kitchen. I know it's been a while, a couple months since I've done a video, um, but this video I'm doing um, is about some of the new products I'm choosing to use now. Okay, um, so pretty much what I'm doing this video is on the Shea Moisture products that I've just gotten. Um, they're not completely new to the Shea Moisture line, but they're new to me. So the first one that I've been using for about a month now is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength and Grow and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. I like this conditioner a lot. It's really thin, or it's a leave-in conditioner. It's really thin um, and watery, seem like. And some people from automatically from hearing that are going to assume, oh, that doesn't sound like something I would want. Trust me, you're going to like it. If you have thinner hair texture, I'm a 3B, 3C hair type, as you guys all know. Um, but there are some people that have 4B to 4C hair, which is like more like thicker, coarse hair, like Nigerian hair, something like that kind of. Um... So I know some when, to some people that have that type of hair, hair text, hair. texture that's more coarse, they're going to hear this and they're going to think, okay, it's thin, that doesn't sound like it would appeal to me. I thought that at first too, I thought, oh, it's going to be watery. I don't know, because I got this from Walgreens for $10.50. You can, they um, sell Shea Moisture products at Target, so you can probably get it at Target for $9.99, but if not, probably $10.50. And as you can see, it's, it's kind of, I don't want it to like spill, but it's like kind of runny. Okay, you see how it like moves a little bit? Okay. Well, I do apologize for not being able to show you like a good amount of what it what it looks like, but it's real, you know, real watery. What I like about the Shea Moisture, about this product in particular, out of all the Shea Moisture things I've tried so far, this is my favorite one. There's the Curl and Style Milk, and there's the Curl Hansy Smoothie. I like the Curl Hansy Smoothie for people with thicker hair textures. I can see why that would work for people with 4B, 4C. This works better for my hair because my hair is a little bit thinner, not as coarse as someone with 4B, 4C hair type. So that's the reason why I like this one a lot better. Um, also, the reason I like it is because it more it like evaporates into hair right away because it's thin, of course, too. So when you put it in your hair, you can feel confident that you're going to get hold because you are. With you, you would think you wouldn't with the leave-in conditioner because it's a leave-in conditioner. Usually, leave-in conditioners do not give you hold. But this one does, surprisingly. So, I'm going to have to talk louder because I don't want that noise to be disturbing. But yeah, so with the leaving conditioner, I didn't think I would get a hold from it, but I actually got a very a good amount of hold, like, all day long, even up to night to bedtime. Like, very good hold. But it doesn't make your hair crunchy. It doesn't leave a residue. Um, it doesn't leave, uh, what I mean by residue, it means, like, white little flakes or anything like that. But it does leave build up. So some people think residue build up the same thing. It's a little bit different. Build up to me is something you can't necessarily see, but you can feel. And you're just like, ugh, so you have to wash your hair. So with this, you will get build up, but it could be because I'm putting in a significant amount in. Um, you don't have to put as much in as I do, but I make sure like every strand is covered. I mean, you ain't got to be like, put like pudding on your head, you know, like a crap load. But I mean, for me, if you want to make sure that your hair is going to look perfect, because that's what I put in my hair today. I put this actually in my hair today, uh, a few minutes before. I'm sorry if you guys can't really see it that well. So, okay, I don't know if you saw that. I hope you did. Okay, so that's what I put in my hair. That's the only thing I put in my hair. I just I sprayed it down with a little aloe vera juice. I just, sometimes I, there's no reason for it. Sometimes I just choose to use it. Um, then water. Um, but I decided that this time to use it instead of water because I had, I'd been sick for like a week. So I haven't really done my hair that much in like a week. So it was dry and everything like that. And aloe vera juice kind of helps to hold a little bit more moisture than just putting straight water on it. You know what I'm saying? Because it probably would have dried it out more putting straight water on it. So I just did aloe vera juice. Anyway, and what I've noticed too is it's annoying if women out there they have like little afros stuff like that you're trying to spray your hair down seems like you have to spray and 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 it's just ridiculous some people just open up the spray bottle and just pour around on their head just to get their hair wet um and i understand that too why it would be super hard to saturate your hair um but what you could do too what i do is take a spray bottle and just take the nozzle you know that you was that would the water would spray out of and just put it right up to your scalp like right up to it and spray you're gonna feel the water kind of like drain on your scalp kind of like draining down but you know just go like that or massage the water into your hair. Do you know what I mean? Massage it, but do it all over your head. You have to just keep spraying, spraying, spraying all over your head. And then when your whole head feels like it's wet, then massage it. Your nose, it gets right to the root. And if the root can get nice and soft, then you, it'll be easier for you to be able to apply the product. Because I had that problem today. I had to spray it right on my roots around my whole head. Because it was just, my roots were like thicker. But then again, like I said, I ended my hair in like seven days. So anyway, um... But yeah, so that's that's why I would suggest you get this product because it's very easy to go into your hair, especially when you're having days like that where your hair is really thick. Or let's just say your hair is just thick every day. There ain't no certain days it's just thick, um, at the roots especially. Then this is something you're really gonna like because it's it it's not gonna make your hair too thick. You know? So, but this is definitely something that is 
I use a lot. I use this a lot very often along with the Cantu um, Moisturizing Curl Activator Cream. I love that. Curl Activator Cream is the bomb. Um, and this is the bomb. And what These else? two for sure are the ones that I'm like in love with. Just absolutely in love with. Um, that give you the best hold. And they're not going to give you, like this, yes, it gives you buildup, of course. But like I said, you know, it still makes your hair feel soft. So when you're touching your hair throughout the day, you're not, your hair doesn't feel crunchy. I want something to like, put in my hair to not make it feel crunchy. And that's exactly what this does. It's a lightweight, um, I'm sorry, it's lightweight. It evaporates in your hair right away. Hopefully you might like that. I mean, if you don't want to see white buildup for the girls that don't like, they have to go to work or, or whatever. And they got, um, what do you call they got like buildup or something like that in their hair. After like an hour or two, you know, when your hair completely dries, it's going to dry the color of your hair. It's not going to dry with residue in your hair. You know what I'm saying? But when it's wet and you have to go somewhere, it just looks, your hair looks nasty. You know what I mean? Like you left shampoo or something in it. But for people that aren't ethnic, don't understand that that's just how it's a hair product. It's in your hair. Your hair is wet. When it dries, it will dry without that product color being there. You know? And this one is, is the way. Your hair could be wet and you won't, like my hair is still damp. It's very, very damp right now. Very. And as you guys can see, um... There's no residue. You don't see a white residue in my hair. You guys might not be able to see it because of the lighting. But I'm telling you, there is no residue in my hair. And that's the main reason why I like this product. So please go out and get this for $10.50 or $9.99, whatever. But just bring $10.50. I got it at a Walgreens. You can get it at Target. Now, this I... um. Now, let me talk about this one. This is the, it's, like, it's like this one. Pretty much like the same type of thing comes with it. But this is a styling lotion. So it's the Making Black Cast Oil Strength and Grow and Restore Styling Lotion. To me, this seemed not that great. I didn't care for it at all. At all. At all. Now, when I tell you guys that the leave-in conditioner gives you buildup, and that's thin, very thin, watery, what do you think this is going to do? <laughs> this thing is freaking horrible. Like, I, I don't want to say it's horrible. Like, okay, because honestly, I, I can see how it could be good to some people, how it could be useful to some other people. But for people with 3B to 3C hair type, or a thinner type of hair, I don't see how this is going to work for you. This is, even if you put a little bit in, yeah, you could put a little bit in, but you need to still be able to get it all over every single curl if you want all your curls to look good, right? Well, okay, if you're trying to get it over every single curl, it's, no matter what, it's going to be too much. You know what I'm saying? Unless you just skimp on it, or you're in the house and you don't really care, you're cleaning and it's just kind of like whatever kind of day, or you're just going to do grocery shopping or whatever kind of day, then I guess you could put this in your hair and it'll be no big deal. But if you're trying to look on point and, you know, pop in or whatever, you're not going to want to put this in your hair because it's it's too thick. It's too thick and it's not super thick. Um, You guys can see how much of it I use. I haven't even used that much of it. This was the same price as this, just so you guys know. Ten fifty. This was ten fifty. This, 16 ounces. This, 8 for the same price. So, this is how I feel. If you have 4B, 4C hair type, you might want to go, Just I would just say go out and try this, you guys. Yeah, it's 1050. I mean, to some people that might be something. It's been really not the big of a deal. Just go out and grab it real quick. See if you like it. You don't like it, then at least you know that this will probably work better for you. If you're a 4C hair type and you think this is too thick for you, then this will definitely work. Um, So, for this one, I would just say it would be, it says to moisturize, protect, and shine. I don't know about the shine part. It does moisturize your hair. I won't say that it doesn't moisturize. It does. Um, it just makes your hair feel really thick. Puffy and thick. So that's why I think this isn't a, a good thing to use for if you have like 3B, 3C hair or anything, you know, less coarse. Sit here that's more coarse. This might probably be beneficial to you guys. Um, but the reason I didn't like it was, like I said, it made my hair feel too thick. It definitely gave it a buildup a lot faster than the leave-in conditioner did. A lot faster. I was so disappointed. I was so sad simply because of the fact that I paid ten fifty for this little ass bottle for eight eight ounces, and the other one is sixteen. I could have just got another one of those because I love the leaving condition. I'm in love with it. My man could turn into a big old bottle of stuff. I would love him, <laughs> but not. Nah, but I'm for real though. Like. This it really is a lot better than this stuff. So I mean, if you guys are like, oh, I don't know which one to get, I don't, I'm not really too sure. I would just say for people that have four B to four C hair, if you're like, damn, I don't know which one to get, just go out and get this one. Be on the safe side. Just be on the safe side because this one, if it's too thick, there's what are you, what are you gonna do if it's too thick? What can you do? Some people say, oh, well, I can just you know what do you call? It? I can just water it down. You don't want to ever water anything down because you never know that might mess up the formula of it or it might make it not as potent that it's not as easy as just watering something down. You know what I'm saying? So that's the reason I'll say just to be on the safe side, get this because you're getting more for your money. So if your hair is thicker coarse and you find out that this is too thin and you just have to put in more. That's all you got to do. Just put in a lot more. Just keep adding it, keep adding it, keep adding it. 
And maybe what you might have to do is add a whole bunch and then wait for your hair to dry a little bit. And as it's almost dry or halfway dry, whatever, then add more. Cause anyway, with this stuff, though, I would suggest, yeah, just get this because you get more bang for your buck. You get more for it. Yeah, it's thinner, but you could just use a crap load more if that's what you need to do just to be safe. If you're trying to only buy one than the other. But if you can buy both, buy both by all means. So, yeah, so that's my little review on those two things. Now, I have a different type of conditioner I've been using lately, you guys. I, I don't know if you guys remember from other videos, but... I'm absolutely in love with the Suave Moroccan Argan Oil line when it comes to shampoos and conditioners. The only I, the only time I started using Suave was the Moroccan Argan Oil because I know noticed it on TV. I seen Ethnic Girls using it on TV, saying that it was really good for hair and it gives you a lot of slip and makes your hair super smooth. I was like, okay, so I went and purchased it. And dude, the Moroccan Argan Oil is delicious. I love it. It works my hair perfectly. It never has failed my hair ever. So that was the only Suave up until a couple weeks ago that I decided to, to, to keep using. The other Suaves were just no good. So they come up with a thing called Swab Naturals, and I want to know what Swab Naturals was. I said, okay, well, what's Swab? And the reason I'm doing this is because um, it's not Naturals, you guys. So it, it says Swab Naturals on the bottle, but ain't got nothing to do with natural hair. Ain't got nothing to do with natural products in it because it sure don't got no natural products in it. Um, it got a few, like maybe coconut extract, like small little things, like maybe two or three things. That's it. But the ingredients itself, it's like a normal conditioner. You know what I'm saying? So the, the product... I've been using is the Suave Naturals Tropical Coconut Infused with Coconut Extract and Vitamin E. Um, it's this one. You guys have probably seen this a lot, I'm sure. I got sent um, cub for three of them for five fifty, and they're the family size. Family size is supposed to be for three people. I got so this one. Time. I bought three of them, so I got one shampoo. Because for every like two conditioners or three conditioners I buy, I always buy one shampoo because I don't shampoo my hair that much. It's not necessary. Like I told you, there is nothing in here that is natural about it. I don't know why it says Suave Naturals right on the thing. It's not. It's not aimed towards natural women hair or natural hair period and it does it it has like i said infused with coconut extract and vitamin e that's it two things that are natural besides that everything else on the back is like regular stuff that you would find in regular conditioner you know like ones that give you slip like good conditioners not i mean there's not like bad horrible stuff in here but at the same time it's not super great stuff either you know what i mean it's not as bad as vo5 or silk elements or anything like that so um, to the conditioner, as to why I decided to start using the Suave Naturals conditioner is because, like I said, I was um, I started seeing that African American women were using it, and they said get their hair slip, and I was like, hmm, okay, they're African American, so let me try, let me try, tried it, and it actually came out really good. So this is an I'm not saying that I'm I'm super pro Suave, woo, no, just this kind and the Moroccan Argan Oil, those are the only ones that I'm pro Suave on. Um, but the reason I like this one is, uh, one, because it smells good. I got another one called Sunshine. It smells super good. It's yellow. It's pretty. Um, I like it because it gives your, this gives your hair slip, it manageability. So when you get out the shower, if you have long hair or whatever, you'd be able to comb it out and wouldn't make it dry at all. It moisturizes it. I'll tell you that. It definitely, definitely moisturizes it. You can towel dry your hair with a regular towel, not t-shirt, but like a regular towel, and your hair still won't feel dry. Some people say, oh, I dry my hair with a towel, it feels more dry. You use this, it don't, it won't feel as dry. I notice because for me, it seems like... It holds more moisture in my hair than any kind of other conditioner. It's actually kind of interesting. Um, now, the Moroccan Argonaut one, that one obviously holds more moisture in the, than this one. But if you're going to be going neck to neck, they're pretty much neck to neck, I would say. Um, what else about this conditioner? It's very inexpensive. That's all I can say. It's inexpensive. It gives you slip and moisturizes your hair. I won't say it gives you shine or anything like that. Um, softness. Your hair will be soft. I will tell you, your hair will be very soft very soft um that's pretty much it i just wanted to let you guys know the different kind of conditioners i'm using now so this is this is the next new thing that i'm deciding to use or i've been i mean you can't tell i've been using it but like i said i have another one called sunshine that's yellow and that's actually probably like down here i've used a lot of it so anyways so you guys that's pretty much all i have for my little reviews on things um on different things that i've been trying and using um so when it comes to the Shea moisture jamaican black castor oil line i would just just, just go out and get that leave-in conditioner i wouldn't really go out and get the styling lotion but if you have thicker hair texture and you think and you're pretty positive that's something that worked for you you go right ahead but i would suggest that if you want to be on the safe i want to stay on the safe road and you only have a little bit of me to work with i would suggest just get the leave-in conditioner um but thank you guys so much for joining me here at lily's hair kitchen i appreciate all the love and all the comments and subscriptions and everything like that just don't forget to like my video, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you guys so much. Bye.